Today we'll be reading from Psalm 23. It reads, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This psalm begins saying that the Lord is our shepherd and he will make us lie down in green pastures and lead us beside quiet waters and our soul will be refreshed. Take some time just to let God lead you beside green pastures and quiet waters and let him refresh your soul. The psalm continues to say, He guides me along the right paths for His namesake. Ask the Lord to guide you today along the right path so that you can bring glory and honor to His name. Ask Him to point out anything in your life where maybe you're walking the wrong path. David goes on to say, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. David knew that no matter what he was going through, he was okay. Because the almighty, all-powerful God was his shepherd who was watching over him and protecting him with his rod and his staff. Take some time to meditate on that truth that even if you're going through the darkest valley, we don't need to be afraid because of who our shepherd is and the care he wants to provide for us. David continues and says that in the presence of his enemies, this is where God prepares a feast. In this place, 
His head is anointed with oil, and his cup overflows. How amazing is it that no matter what we walk through, no matter the hardship, no matter the trial, God's superseding peace, love, and joy want to bring us to this place where even though on the outside it may seem we have nothing, on the inside our cup overflows and we have a feast because we're connected to the presence of God. Take some time reflecting on those truths and asking God, God, what are you wanting to do and how are you wanting to comfort and bless me right in the midst of what I'm going through today? As we conclude this time of prayer, may we be comforted that even though we leave this place, with every step we take, God's goodness and mercy will follow us. May that be at the forefront of our minds. And may we find incredible joy that we will be able to dwell in the very presence of the Lord forever. Amen.